Hello lads, here is a tutorial on DinoShop, my uh, script, shot, GUI shop, fully configurable, YML. Here is a tutorial on how to install it and how to configure it. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to, oh, didn't mean to close that. You're going to want to go to the DinoShop page, obviously. Once you're here, you're going to want to download. Link in the description, by the way, if you want the link to the script. Now that you've downloaded this, you're going to want to open it. Then you go inside of here. And now, currently, uh, we only support two versions. We support 1.17 and 1.18. Uh, I plan on adding future support for versions all the way down to 1.9. I'm not too sure about 1.8. I think I'd have to recode a lot of things for 1.8. We'll get to that when we get there. Um, so you're going to want to select your version. In my case, I am going to be on 1.18. Let me close this. So I am going to drag out the 1.18 folder onto my desktop. Now we are going to open the Minehut panel, which is what I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Obviously, you can use whatever server host you want. Um, manage server. Now, a few things before. Make sure you have a Vault installed and then some sort of economy manager plugin. The most common one being Essentials, though I believe there are other ones. But that is a dependency that is not listed. I will list it on the main website after this. But you need to make sure you have Vault and Essentials installed. So now, once we've done that, we're going to open up our 1.18 file. And we're going to go to the required plugins folder. And you see, oh, Vault's already in here. But you will see there is uh, the script plugins. Uh, you will need to drag these script plugins into here. This Vault is if you don't have Vault installed, you can drag that in. So now if I refresh this page. I should see the plugins inside of my uh, folder here. Uh, yep, so as you can see, we have all my script plugins here. So now we are going to go and uh, restart my server. Let's just quickly wait for. This to start up. While it's starting up, uh, I will, you know, this is fully YAML configurable. Um, currently, I am working on adding a built in slash cell command, but currently, if you want to have slash cell, I recommend just using the essentials worth file and just putting your prices in there, as also a lot of plugins normally hook into that. So you'll get plugin compatibility if you do that. I also plan on adding an API. If you're also coding a script and you want to use the shop prices that you've used in DinoShop, you can just use the API. That should be completed relatively soon here. Uh, is the server running? Let's see. Should be joining here, hopefully. Yep, oh, lagging out a little bit. Classic mine hut. Alright. I have no idea what's happening with mine hut right now, but now what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to go to our um file manager here. We are going to go to plugins. Then we are going to go to script. Scripts. And I already have some scripts here. What you should see if you are installing script for the first time is there is a bunch of scripts with the with a dash at the start of their name. You can ignore all those, you can delete all those, do whatever you want with those. What we're going to do is we're going to create a folder and call this, uh, what was the name that it needed? Uh, yeah, just call it DinoShop. 
capitalization does matter here, I believe. So, Dino Shop. Once you've created this Dino Shop folder, go into the Dino Shop folder in the 1.18 folder we have here, and drag these three .sk files in. Now that we've done that, I will do sk reload dino shop slash. And as you can see, it's successfully loaded. If it didn't successfully load and you followed all the steps I've said here, um, to go into the Discord, links in the description, I can help you out with that. So now I should be able to open the shop and do this. So as you can see, there are um, already items in here. I will uh, show an example on how to uh, configure this. So, when you run this sk reload command, it'll generate uh, a configuration file. So you go to your plugins, you see here, at the very top, it says Dino Shop. And I want to open that. Now there's a few options you have. First, you can open the config main file. In this file, you can uh, mess with the main menu. This is the menu that comes up when you do slash shop. You can change the title of it. You can change whatever this fill item is. Uh, you can make it, uh, if you don't want a fill item, change that to air. Um, you can also configure the GUIs that show up whenever you um, want to buy something. So you can configure this GUI. Uh, you can cancel transaction here. But you can configure all that. In the messages folder, you can configure all the messages. And in the shops folder, this is where stuff gets interesting. Um, I'm going to open this in a text editor. Let me, uh, here we go. So, as you can see here, uh, shops, blocks. Now, what this means is this is the block shop. The block shop should be actually, hold on. So, okay. Let's go through this step by step here. So, in the shops folder, you can create shops. Like this is listed here. It's shops and then home GUI. This is the configuration for the item in just slash shop. So for example, we can kind of demonstrate this. It currently says block shop and this is in gold, I believe. I can change this if I wanted to to blue and then let's change the word shop to uh, purple. So what I can do that. I can copy this over. I can put this into the shop file and save and then I can do shop reload. And now as you can see, the colors changed accordingly. So this is for the main GUI. Then you have this GUI. This GUI is the GUI that is opened. This is the configuration for the GUI that happens once you open this. So as you can see, we can name the we have the title of the GUI, which we will make the same as this. We have the fill item, which once again, if you don't want set to air. And then we have the back button, which you can configure. After you've done that, you can also change the items, of course. Now, I have a few examples in the uh, plugin with how to do the different types of uh, things here. So, we have an item with lore. We have a command here. And uh, we have some other items. But what I'll do here is we will cr quickly create a, um, a new shop. So let's delete all of this. 
and uh, we can create a shop named, uh, let's see, let's call this the, uh, the furniture, furniture. You know, no, 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 the uh, colors, colors. So now in the home GUI, it'll be in slot, uh, let's say slot 10. It'll be uh, colors, and we will make it yellow wool. Uh, and then click here to open the color shop. We can also change uh, this right here. We can also change this. Let's say we only want the shop to be one row. Then we can change the back button to be on slot 8. We can have, uh, let's have no fill item. And then uh, let's just keep these items as they are for now. So what we can do is we put this into our config file, shop reload. And as you can see, we have our color shop right here. And then once you open the color shop, you can see the back button is on the slot that we put it on. All of the items are here, just as listed. And, uh, yeah. If you have any questions about this script, uh, let me know. Uh, I will be putting updates into it. Uh, so, any suggestions would be great. And uh, thank you for watching.